Alright, we're here at SHOT Show 2014. We're here with Darren Prince, the inventor of the bullet button. Uh, how's the SHOT Show going for you so far? It's been really busy, but lots of cool stuff to see as always. Alright, fantastic. So tell me, how did you come up with the idea of the bullet button? The bullet button actually started with the original Prince 50, which was my first invention. And that was a mag button with a set screw in it. Uh, watching people bring in a lot of off-list lowers and really scrutinizing the long, I realized that if we used a tool that would relock, it would be safer. The Prince 50 was great, but once you had the screw set out, it wasn't legal anymore. So the bullet button just had to come into existence. So that's how we came up with it. You know, what's really interesting is, and I've seen, I've watched folks like uh, Senator Yee just fly off the handle because they say that, well, what we're doing or what you're doing is you're basically getting around the law. It's like, no, you're complying yeah, with the law. And the fact is, is that it inevitably technology catches up with the law. And that's in fact what you did. That is exactly right. So one of the things they try to do again, they're going to try and change the law. Again What's this the year. They'll, they'll try it again. We won SB 374, obviously with the help of uh, the CalGuns Foundation, Cal FFL, lots of other folks. Uh, this year, SB 47 is back in play. That's Yee's bill that will specifically ban the bullet button and, uh, and guns that work under that premise. Uh, so I'm gonna need people to donate to Cal Guns. Um, just work, sign petitions, and get people who don't know what's happening aware so that they can also donate and help make calls and facts. Folks, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Once again, we're here at uh, SHOT Show 2014. You guys, take care.